Hello there, I'm Gentleman Jack, Irredeemable Motor Caravan Enthusiast, and this is the lovely Bailey 760 SE. It's built on the Peugeot Boxer chassis cab with Alco extensions. Let's have a deco inside. Right, let's have a look, uh, see what we've got inside. Uh, it's a six berth family motorhome. Uh, there's an over cab bed currently folded away above the cab. There's this lounge diner here uh, with kitchen opposite. Amidships, uh, we have the washroom on this side with the wardrobe on the other. And at the far rear, uh, a palatial U-shaped lounge. I'm in the pointy end, as us experts say. Let's have a look at the accommodation here. Firstly, there's these two swiveled cab seats. Uh, they go from the driving position round to a lounging position. Above, we have the folded cab bed. And here is a four-seater Pullman dinette lounger. Uh, you'll see that it's got head restraints and seat belts for safe passenger travel. Opposite the lounge, we have the kitchen or galley, as it's known. Actually, it's a very practical one. Let's have a closer look. Here there is a rectangular sink, stainless steel sink, with a separate draining surface and this handy chopping board. Uh, over here, next to it, there's the hob, four uh, different size burners, or simostats as we call them, and the other part of the cooker is here. There's the gas operated grill and oven. Below, there's a, a matching saucepan store. Adjacent, we have this fridge here. It's nicely sized and three way. This means it works off gas, 230 volt or 12 volt. For fans of nuke food, have a look up here. There we are. Finally, uh, this is a nice touch. Uh, in this store cupboard here, uh, beneath the cutlery drawer, are these slide out baskets for storing uh, tinned or packet food without having to grub around at the back of the cupboard to retrieve it. All in all, very well planned. Moving down inside the van, uh, we come to the amidships section. Uh, washroom here, very palatial, with uh, a shower, shower tray, a vanity washroom, swivel bowl loo, and some useful storage. Just opposite across the aisle is the wardrobe. At the far rear, at the blunt end, uh, is this lovely U-shaped lounge. It's great for feet up relaxing and for looking out, watching the world going by or reading. It's a triple aspect room, uh, so it's uh, nice and light, gives you a good view out at the scenery or for just nosing. Right, uh, we'll look now at how the beds make up. At the rear lounge, can be made as two longitudinal singles and if you're going to do that you can remove the cushions to make them wider or a transverse double. You can sleep either way round but I'd sleep this way round. Reading lights, you can turn the heating on without having to get out of bed on cold mornings and you've got this uh, hecky roof light which lets natural light and ventilation in. Now we'll look at the uh, remaining four berths. Let's start uh, with this over cab bed. I've already removed the ladder and you just pull it down, doesn't take any effort at all. And there you have an adult sized double bed. We'll just slip the ladder on and there you are. Another two berths, a double, uh, is available by converting the dinette. It is narrow though, so it's more suitable for uh, lanky adolescents, I think. It's made by dropping the table down to here and moving the cushions. Okay, let's summarise then. Six travel seats, six sleeping berths, great family van, or even for uh, couples if they like a lot of room to spread out. It's well equipped, it's at the right price, but the most important thing is this, the shell. It's made using a method called Alutech and it will last a long time, it's rigid and weatherproof. 